in this video, I'm going to be sharing with you my top three recommendations for budget studio monitors right after this intro. Hi, I'm Otto Cliff Beats. On this channel, I do helpful tutorials for artists and producers, especially if you do Afrobeat. So if that's something that interests you, please consider subscribing. Why do I need studio monitors? The reason is because you want to be able to get good objective sounds, what it is you're hearing. Most of the other types of speakers, whether that is um, headphones, earpiece, um, the car um, stereo, or home theater speakers, or all those other types of speakers made for consumers to use, music consumers to use. They have some type of hyped frequency, whether that make actually more bass than they actually is in the song, or more treble, or more forward in the mid-range, or all those type of stuff. When you're making music, you want to be able to hear it for what it is so that you can fix problems, so that you can make it better, and so that it can now translate properly to the outside world. So that's the reason why you need studio monitors. They are designed to be as accurate as possible. With the more expensive brands, you get more accuracy, you know, and you get, you get more of a precise sound from those speakers. But today we're actually talking about budget options, especially the options that are available within Africa, and particularly West Africa and Nigeria, to be precise. So what are these three options? There's Yamaha, there are HS8 or 7, we have the KRK, um, the Rocket, um, actually like their most recent series, the Rocket 3, the biggest size, which is I think is 8, and I think you could also use the 6, but I would recommend more the biggest size, the 8. And then Kali Audio's line of speakers, whether that's the LP6, which is the one you're seeing beside me, or the LP8s, or the IN5s, or the IN8s. Now, if you notice, I didn't mention the size 5s of these speakers. As a music producer, when you're missing that low end, it kind of makes you make different types of judgments which in my opinion, or at least how it affected me when I was using smaller size speakers, you don't do your best jobs like that. Afrobeats has a lot of low end. So if you're using a smaller speaker because you want to hear, you want to feel that low end, you tend to overcompensate for low end. So you discover that when you take your works elsewhere, it means that all the mid-range instruments are pushed really forward and maybe the bass is maybe a bit too much or almost absent and it's it's difficult to strike that balance so if you can if you're getting your first pair save up to be able to get the big size speaker if you already have you know smaller size speakers whether that's actually like the hs5s or the smaller krk speakers I would suggest you have two options. Either you buy a subwoofer or you upgrade to bigger speakers. Now, if you don't yet have the budget to get a proper studio monitors, please don't make that a reason why you don't proceed on your music journey or you don't make music. Getting a good pair of headphones is a good solution. Okay, even if you don't have that, having a Bluetooth speaker is a way to start. But by all means, start. And while you prepare, at least you now know what it is you should be looking out for as good options. So let's have a good discussion in the comment section. Let me know what your thoughts are, what you feel are your top picks. Did I miss out a brand that you feel is better than these ones I mentioned? And all that good stuff. Till next time, have a wonderful day.